Hey brothers and sisters, welcome to another Last Chance Ministries video session. I'm giving this video as always to God. Let Him use it to do His glory, to spread His love and His words to whoever might hear. Um, we are um, so close to going home. Um, when stupid things, uh, and I'm, I do mean stupid, I'm, I'm sorry, it takes not much to get on the day show or to get on uh, Ellen, which who would want, I don't, I wouldn't want to go on Ellen, that's supporting her lifestyle. Anyone who goes to her show gives her money in the bank because she's getting viewers for it. And she is a sodomite. We should pray, instead of, you know, supporting and watching, we should be praying for conviction over her and her partner. Because in God's eyes, that is not a marriage, would not be a marriage, never will be a marriage, and shall not be a marriage because God says, no, it's an abomination. Um, I was watching, um, I was watching bloopers of, uh, of things used, I used to watch like bloopers, you know, of things I watched like Tyler Perry's show, stuff like that there, and I would kind of laugh to him. But I was watching Tyler Perry's bloopers for um, his class reunion, and uh, and I tell you, I didn't find anything. Well, one thing I found kind of funny was Mr. Brown, but that's uh, uh, David Mann, um, who plays Mr. Brown. But anyway, I didn't find anything to laugh about this time when I watched it. Uh, last time I rocked in my rocking chair, I made someone dizzy, so, Sister Amanda, get dizzy, baby. <laughs> Praise the Lord. She is uh, a dear sister in Christ. I want to say real quickly, you know, um, I have to give everybody a little laugh. You know, we're in some really strong times right now, and uh, there's no doubt that Jesus is coming very soon. It, it, it's, it's around the corner. It's not very far off at all. There, Jesus is coming back very soon. You know, brothers and sisters, there, we are having so much um, trouble with um, our, our, our government causing trouble. Okay, they went over to, over to um, somewhere yesterday to, the, to say that you know America could sue these people for what happened on 9-11 when 9-11 was an inside job. Okay, I mean... Everybody knows this, and these people turn around and said, you know, showing the truth that it was it was done by the American government. But I don't really care. The whole world's a lie. It doesn't take much to be popular anymore. A woman get, buys a Chewbacca mask at um, a Target or something, or somewhere. I don't know where she went to, but anyway, she buys a Chewbacca, Chewbacca mask. She puts it on and laughs hysterically, and she's on Good Morning America. Someone's out here trying to uh, spread the word of God to get to, and I, you know, I'm not, I'm not, sh I'm not shunning her. I'm not saying anything bad about her because she got her hour of fame. But you know, when you when you stand before God and you had to give an answer for your life, and you went on TV to spread uh, about a mask that is Illuminati made, that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. And Good Morning America, not even 24 hours or 48 hours that she was on there, she's on Good Morning America. Do something stupid and get rewarded by the world. I would rather do things right, do them in God's way. No, I'm not perfect, but I'd rather do God's will and be rewarded by the Savior than to be rewarded by any man on this earth. You know, a lot of people think going and being on camera and stuff is big. No, it's not. No, it's not. Them people that's on there that you think are so famous, say fortune and star or whatever, celebrities, they're nothing more than, no more than you. They just got a blessed job making good money behind a camera they're no better than anybody else i don't care if they do drive jaguars and cadillac who cares they ain't no better than you and i and as i was laying down last night i got to thinking you know i may have said this to sissy mandy i don't know but i said i was thinking you know how people yeah i know i did say this to sister mandy um how people will like uh, they'll try to make you feel they're better Connect it with the Lord, like they, they're, they're, them and God's got a personal one-on-one -on -one relationship. We all have our one-on-one -on -one relationship, and God sees no man better than another. So don't let any man on this earth or woman tell you that they're stronger with God than you are, because that's a lie. You can be strong with God too by praying, by seeking His will. If anyone would like to join us tonight in our chat church, we have, um, we're going to be studying in the Book of John, the Gospel according to John. Uh, chapters 3 and 4. Um, we need to uh, be in the Word at all times because the Lord Jesus Christ is coming back. There's not very much time left. Brother, sister, there is so much things happening right now. 
that are pointing to Jesus Christ's soon return. You know, when a person can buy a mask, get in a car and laugh hysterically and get put on 48 hours or on a, a talk show, what does that tell you about America's standpoint? They're running out of interest. Okay, they're running out of interest. I've seen people that laugh more than she did. And I really didn't feel her laugh was, I mean, it, was, it wasn't contagious to me. I watched it and I, I didn't even crack a smile. My one, my sissy saw it. She said she didn't even watch it, you know. And I know a lot of people say, "Oh, it's just it's so funny." No, it's not. No, it's not. Mm -mm. Not when I think of the time we live in right now, brothers and sisters. The time is up, and, and people are spending their time with stupid things, filling their life up with meaningless hours of nothing. I know I felt bad yesterday, which I know there's nothing wrong with what I did. I watched. Uh, because while I'm sitting here, I need something to keep my mind occupied, okay? I mean, you know, until I go to church at night, and I'm sitting here watching, you know, Alice, which is Mel's Diner, Alice, the sitcom back in the 80s, 70s, and 80s. And uh, I was watching it, and her son, Tommy Hyatt, which is played by Nancy McKeon's brother. Uh, I can't think of his first name, but anyway, um, he was on there. He had a drinking problem, and Alice was trying to deal with her, with him. Her son, it's her son on the show trying to deal with him to get him help that he needed. And uh, it was just so, it was good to be able to watch this. And I felt like, I felt such a uh, peace. You know, being able to see, and there's a peace that can come over you when you see people, even if they're playing a character. I mean, it looked like to me he may have really been dealing with drinking at the time because his face showed it that he was having a problem, some kind of sickness. But I felt a peace last night in the chat church. I was watching that, and I really just felt bad. Cause, but I it don't have no cussing or nothing in it. It's just a little bit of comedy. And some of it is kind of funny, especially when the woman who plays Jolene Honeycutt, when she talks, because she talks like this. She said, y'all know what you're doing. It's Alabama or Arkansas. She talked like that, and she's so funny, but... I saw her, where are they now, and that woman looks like her face blowed up or something. I mean, she is majorly different. Looking by gas, you know, it could have been surgery. It could just be, you know, I don't know what, what it is. But, you know, I pray that these people who are who were, who were celebrities truly give their hearts to God because they're no different than us. They're just clay walking around with, with the gift of acting, you know. I don't, I, I, I never wanted to be, I never wanted to be popular. I mean, I didn't, never wanted to be famous. I guess at one time I wouldn't have minded it, but then I thought, you know, why be famous? You can't go nowhere. You can't do nothing, which I don't go nowhere or do nothing anyway. But, I mean, you know, you can't go out and even shop without someone mobbing you. You know, it's 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 not – I wouldn't want to be no, no famous person. I don't care. I mean, I just want to be who God made me to be. I want God to use me to do his will as much as possible. You know, I posted a – and I was feeling really down yesterday, but God has a way of picking us up. I had posted a post about a few days ago, and uh, some people responded to that post. Uh, one was a dear friend of mine whom I babysat it for, and she put it on air, you know, about how she loved reading my posts, and she also put on my, when I cleaned my bedroom and stuff, she said, you know, you always were a clean person, and I try to be. My house right now needs to be clean, but I really don't care. Well, actually, the only thing that needs to be done is my dishes, but I'm just trying to chill out, you know? Yesterday I was so emotional, but I got on Facebook last night, and my dear sweet um, second mom named Karen uh, Lewis, she was my church mom when I was little. She was the first ever true Sunday school teacher I had as a child that I remember really trying. And she wrote on there that, you know, I said if I offend anyone, and she said, she said if you offend anyone, when you're telling the truth. I can't say her exact words. She said, you do nothing but tell the truth. Keep up the good job. Then a friend of mine from, well, she's a friend now from years back named Tammy said, you continue doing what God has you doing. You know, they tell me that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm gifted by God to do what I do. You know, all I do, I, I, don't, I don't get big head because I got a gift from God to do something. I get on here to show you guys that God loves you and he's coming back. He is coming back. My one friend who I babysat it for said, you know, I always enjoy your your messages, your 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 posts. She said, because, you know, basically I'm real what I say. And, 
And she was like talking about how, you know, uh, that the signs are here, that he's coming back. And yeah, they are. They're here. I just, I know that she's been sickly. You know, when, when we were, when I knew her and babysat it for her, she was like just, a, she was getting along good. But now she's been having some health problems. But, you know, what we do in our past does affect our future. And, 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 and also when it comes to spreading the love of God, that can strengthen you in many ways. You know, it strengthens the word of God is strength and strength to the bones. And the word of God also makes us stronger in our walk with Christ. You know, the more we pull away from God in any way, it's hard for us to continue to stay striving in the word of God. Last night as I was feeling down and everything, I just thought, you know, I we watched a video and they were talking about the importance of God's word and I was like I put, typed in the chat room, I said, let's go to, um, you know, John chapter 1, and I read it, and, and sis, Sister Mandy breaks it down off her study Bible, and then we read chapter 2, and she broke it down, and brothers and sisters, I, I, I just really enjoyed the study, and I'm going to enjoy the one tonight too, her and I are supposed to pre-study before, but whether we get to or not, we're still going to do it tonight, because I pray God will keep this on our hearts to do it. You know, it's important that we continue to try to stay strong in our in our faith and allow God to uh, use us in any many ways because we are in the very stretch of the end times right now. And, and, and letting, allowing God to use us to do His will in any way possible. I mean, I'm talking about allow God to use you. If it's smiling at someone who's down, then hey, that's bringing a smile to them. Give a smile, get a smile. That's what I believe now. That's just a saying that came to me. Give a smile, get a smile. You know, someone could be down and you go, hi, and your smile, they smile. And that certain smile can change someone's frown around. It's not easy in the world we're living in right now. Many things are happening that are showing us that Christ's return is at the door. Many people don't want to hear it. I watched a young lady today, and uh, she was talking about the Lord let her see the judgment. And he, she said that she saw herself being judged. And she came to God and gave him everything. If you're a church attender or someone who thinks you're of God because you're good, but you've never asked Jesus in your heart, without Jesus you have no part of God. Because of Adam and Eve and their sin, Eve was the one deceived and Adam followed behind. Many people say it's because he loved her so much he didn't want God to destroy her because God could have destroyed her and made a new helpmate for him. But you know what? God knew what was, going to, what was going to happen. He knows the beginning from the end. I believe Adam just did it because, you know, she did it. I don't know. It's monkey see, monkey do situation, you know. And now I'm not talking about the Darwin theory. I'm talking about people see, people do. People hear, people speak. People see, people act. You know, it, it's like the human mind. The human ear is a tape recorder. You keep hearing something over and over and over and over again. You get mad and it's something bad. You're going to repeat that to someone else. That's just the way the human mind works. But anyway, I just want to say, brothers and sisters, that, you know, this girl was talking about judgment and how she gave her, surrendered her life totally to God. Now, granted, it was back, it was back about three months ago in February that she did this video, or someone posted the video, I don't know how long it was before that, but in God's timing, three months is like three seconds, you know? Um, three years would be like three hours. Brothers and sisters, Let's say three months is three minutes. Okay, there we go. Um, three days is three seconds. Okay, there we go in God's timing. That's just kind of what I see it. I'm not, I'm not saying that's how it is because no one knows God's timing. But he did say a thousand years on earth is a, is a day in heaven is a day in heaven is a thousand years on earth. So you can think about the time part, the time part when it comes to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Um, but if any of you guys are out there walking around thinking that you're okay with God and you have never once asked Jesus in your heart, God doesn't know you. He doesn't know you. He, he doesn't know you. There's a noise. I'm, I'm plugging my head, my my mouse for a minute. I want to set up here because I can't. I'm sitting back too far and I want to set up for a minute because I'm getting ready to end this. I can get my brother up. Anyway, this computer's been acting up for a few days now. I don't know what's going on with it. But anyway, anyway, sorry. Um, I'm going to have to buy me a new laptop, I guess. I don't know. But anyway... What I want to say is, you know, um, sorry for the slapping and hitting. It's just like my my light goes in and out on this thing. I may need to reset it to make it set back again. I don't know. But anyway, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, today is your day. You know, the breaths you take every second is not promised. 
the the ability to wake up and get up out of bed is not promised. The ability to leave your house and come back later isn't promised because anything can happen in a time of a day span, okay? Just asking you, brothers and sisters, please, please, um, seek the Lord in everything you do. Jesus' return is at the door, and we can't play that anymore. It is at the door. But it's up to you. It's up to you to receive him in your heart. No one can, no one can get you into heaven. No one can. No one can. with a stupid computer will stop um, you have something for a little bit and it starts acting up and this one's going to start acting up but I don't care I'm still going to use it until it's gone to glorify God um, you know if you can't find nothing to do you can find like little sitcoms from back in the 70s and 80s where there's no cuss words in them and it's just a regular run of the mill things you would hear in life you know I mean but if you if you got time to do that Take some of that time and read the Word of God. It's very important that you get the Word of God completely. There's things happening in this world today that are not really, they can't. They don't make sense to you if you don't really know the Lord Jesus Christ. I just ask you all to please take the time today to um, take the time today to let the Lord to let the Lord move in your life. Read the Word. Apply the Word. Ask God to give you the ability to understand the Word. If you're a child of God, ask and you shall receive. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. If it's God's will, you will get it. And God's will is for you to understand the Word, to live the Word, to be the Word, to speak the Word, to teach the Word, and to act the Word in your life. Brothers and sisters, we can't, we can't, we, we can't play anymore. Time is up. Time is up. Honestly, time is up. And a lot of people don't want to, don't want to hear that time is up, but it is. It's up. It's truly up, and and people need to know that you know we we as children of God are not playing anymore. We need to be strong in everything we do. We need to be able to um, do do do. But we just need that's me plugging my mouse back in. But we need to be ready. Jesus is coming. Um, when I get on here, I don't do this for myself. I get on here and I talk from my heart because you know um, there is so much stuff going on. I'm just going to ask you all to pray for a special prayer request for a sister in Christ who has... I've got two two sisters in Christ that are battling. One is battling cancer and one's possibly going to be battling it again. Uh, and um, just keep them, sister, her name is Sister Patty and Sister Mary, keep them both in your uh, prayers that God will just give them. Sister Mary has really got strong, really strong will. And we just pray that she will continue to stay strong. Because I'm going to tell you both, ladies, if you watch this, we're not here much longer. Jesus is coming. God bless you both. I love you both. I love everybody. Just keep looking up. Jesus is coming. And uh, this may be one of my short videos yet. <laughs> anyway, Jesus loves you. So do I. See you soon with Jesus. And continue to pray for your loss because Jesus is here in the prayers of those who are of him. And keep looking up. Those skies are about to part. God bless. See you soon with Jesus. Bye.